responsible at home. I'm not going to get in my car and do some stupid shit. I'm going to be right here and pass the fuck out. New Year's Eve, guys. I am so excited. Okay, let me take the gun out. Guys, I am so super excited. Today is New Year's Eve, Friday, December 31st. We are about to go into a new year, 2022. Okay, what is up with that? But you know what? That's a blessing. We all are here. We are for it. And it's going to be a positive year. It's going to be a blessing to even just to see 2022, guys. Like, come on now, let's 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 go into this 2022 with a with a with a bang. Like for real, for real. Like let let's let's get into it for real. So, guys, I am on my way to the mall. I'm going to Walmart. I'm going to. Um, I have a few little uh, videos that I want to get out to you guys. Um, be by tomorrow uh yeah so i'm just excited like i'm i'm crazy excited for the new year anyway guys i'm gonna pay attention to the road because i can't be driving and and talking at the same time i need a mount it's it's gonna be some things changing for the new year for real so anyway let me get off this phone and um pay attention to the road and yeah we're gonna get our day started Hey guys, I got my mask on and I am headed in the mall. It's a beautiful day. It's New Year's Eve and uh, we are going to go and do a little retail therapy. It's crowded up here, guys. Like, it's uh, pretty much uh, a sale shopping day. Anyway, um, we will um, see what it do in this mall. But I am looking for jackets. I need me some jackets for the new year. I'm trying to change up my my vibe, my clothing vibe, my fashion vibe. So come go with me.
Okay, guys, I did not film too much at the mall. It was crazy. It was like Christmas all over again, okay? So anyway, I have uh, just arrived at Walmart and uh, I'm just, I'm not gonna videotape. My phone is about to die, so I'm gonna put it on the charger. Um, I'm going to buy a single, a uh, single a waffle maker for myself so I can um, do a brunch, waffle brunch for one, maybe two, who knows, you know, you never know. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go in here and get a few things and I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, I have made it home and Kelso is tripping, okay, if you hear him in the background howling. Okay, I've been gone too long, I guess. Anyway, I just got back from today. It's been a long day, but it's been fun, guys. I have a whole bunch of stuff. I came over here. You see all this? See all that? Okay. I'm going to show you guys everything that I got and everything that I bought. And uh, But I'm going to let my phone charge up, but I am going to uh, a restaurant up the street from my house called On the Rocks. I'm going to spend my New Year's uh, Eve there, I guess. Anyway, I am going to take my dog out for his walk because he's tripping. I'm going to let my phone charge up and then we're going to get the party started. The party started. Hey, the party started. No, Okay, guys, I am here at On The Rocks out here in Long Beach. If you are ever in, um, if you are ever in Long Beach or in California, stop by. It is black owned. Check it out. It's called On The Rocks. Anyway, I'm going to have me a cocktail and I'm going to have me some tacos. And then I am going to go home. And then that's really going to be about it for tonight. Uh, it's kind of dead in here for right now, so... Anyway, um, when my food comes out, I'll show you guys what So guys, I was just informed that it's going to be a party here tonight. Okay, they got a DJ. They getting ready. It's still early. Um, it's probably not even six o'clock here. Uh, I can't even come some food. I was gonna maybe spend a couple of hours here, and but yeah, they about to get lit up in here. They about to have like DJs and, and, and strippers. No, they don't have no strippers, but they are about to have a party. So I guess it is New Year's Eve. So hey. why not? Anyway, so I'm just waiting for my tacos. I'm here alone. There's nothing wrong with spending the years with, by yourself. You know, sometimes people think it's a drag, and sometimes it can be a drag. But you just gotta, you know, make yourself available to do and be open to do other things by yourself. Because even your girlfriends might not be available. So you just gotta be open to, you know, doing things by yourself. It's all good. Um, be safe while doing it. You know, make sure you're not, you know, being too lit. <laughs> You know, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna wait here for my tacos, and then after that, uh, I'm gonna go home. And like I said, I might come back. We'll see. Okay, guys, I wasn't gonna do a post, I was gonna chill for the rest of the night. This is the fit, I'm chilling. Anyway, they are lit on Pandora. Pandora. I'm, I'm talking French. Pandora. I've been drinking. But anyway, girl and boys and guys and gals, they are lit. Okay, period. So get into the vibe of 2022. Earth, Wind, and Fire. They doing all of that. All of it. I didn't listen to Chris Brown, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Cameo. I took it all the way back to all the way to forward. Period. I'm having a good time by myself. <coughs> I'm clearing my throat because I'm drinking. 
I'm drinking and I'm home responsible. At home. I'm not going to get in my car and do some stupid shit. I'm going to be right here and pass the fuck out and go to sleep. Cheers. 2020 motherfucking two. Damn. Betty White then kicked the bucket. I thought my girl was going to get to 20. I mean, 100. She was, what, 99? That was my motherfucking hero, Betty, for real. I, I'm, I was I'm, was trying to be like Betty. I'm trying to be over Betty, because Betty didn't make it to where I was trying to go to, but period. Anyway, I'll see y'all in 2022. Welcome to Mama Cita's journey, life after 50. Thanks guys for tuning in. If you are new, welcome to Mama Cita's journey. Okay, I am Mama Cita. If you are old, welcome back. Happy New Year, everybody. So today, guys, this is going to be part two from yesterday. I was so lit after the mall. I went and had some drinks and then, yeah, it was just not good after that. So anyway, guys, I'm going to complete this haul today and then we're going to have brunch for one, maybe two. I invited somebody over, so maybe they'll come. If not, then hey, whatever. So anyway, guys, let's get into this video. This video is about, first of all, if you are new and if you don't know what my channel is about, my channel is about fashion, entrepreneurship, motivation, positivity, everything. I don't exclude anything. My channel is about any and everything that I can think of. So, anyway, guys, without further ado, we're going to get into this video because I have a lot of stuff that I want to show you. And, uh, yeah, let's start the video. Okay, guys, as you know, I was in the mall yesterday, so um, I did pick up a few items at the mall. But right now, I'm going to show you some shoes that I had ordered online. And this was before Christmas. These are by Madden Girl. I think I showed these on one of my um, video thumbnails. So, yeah. Steve Madden. Madden Girl. I love these shoes. I love a, um, a very chunky heel. And it has the platform. And it just gives you more support. These shoes fit so freaking cute. Not sure how I'm going to style it. But, you know, it's just a neutral kind of a brownish. Well, it's not even brown. It's like a beige -ish beige kind of sandy brown color but yeah super cute i love them so that's one of the items and then i have these here these are nine west i was gonna wear these on new year's because i had a skirt um i think you guys seen the skirt it was that silver skirt that i bought from zara and i was gonna uh, pair these with them these are by nine west and super cute i believe i paid I'm not sure, but I'll link everything down in the description box. So, yeah, guys, super cute. I love it. Okay, guys, now that um, we got the shoes out the way. Uh, no, we don't have the shoes out the way. These shoes right here, guys, Jessica Simpson. You can see the tag is still on them. I just tried them on because I'm going to wear these today. These shoes, Jessica, super cute cute they're like a um like a kind of a pewter gray you know i remember that color a long time ago it's like a pewter gray but these are super freaking cute guys they were regularly 118 dollars and they went down to like 50 dollars. so that wasn't a bad buy so i had to purchase these super cute i'm wearing them today okay so yeah that's jessica simpson once again, I'll link everything down below. Now, I did went, um, I don't have, I used to buy a lot of costume jewelry. Costume jewelry, you know how it is. It's, it, it tarnishes, it, get, it goes bad. So I try to steer away from a lot of costume jewelry. So, but sometimes you just want to have some fun. You want to play around with 
you know, certain things with your outfits and things like that. So I stopped at this store. I wrote on it because I had to write on the um, I don't know what this is, but I was writing somebody's information on there. But anyway, this is the store, Lucia's. And um, they had a remarkable sale uh, yesterday. Everything in there was like $3. Um, I have a pair on here. These were $3.95, super light, super cute. I love these. These were trending um, a while ago. And uh, yeah. So I got those. I got these um, these rings. You guys can see them. I got these rings. Everything three dollars and ninety five cents. And this stuff is never three dollars and ninety five cents. I got this necklace. Um, I don't buy. I stopped buying um, costume jewelry that is gold because once again, you know how gold is. It tarnish is quickest you can get it around your neck so this is a like a little um silver plated that um they had on sale for $3.95 I thought that was a cute little piece to you know to decorate your your outfits with so yeah I had I got that and I always buy a pair of hoops I don't care I keep a pair of hoop earrings those for $3.95 and these were $3.95 as well Super cute. The little earrings are starting to trend back again. Uh, and these, I thought these are really cute. It has the little faces on it. And I've been, I, I, every time I go in the store, I see these earrings and they were like $15 or something. I'm like, I'm not paying $15. So when they were $3.95, I said, perfect, I'm getting it. So there you go. So that is all for the jury. Okay, guys, this is my New Year's hat. You see what happened to it. <laughs> it's just, it, it, it partied. And this was last year, so I didn't even get to use it this year. So anyway, this I was going to wear this and, and try to get a thumbnail, but it said, no, baby, you should have got a new one this year, period. So anyway, so that is the New Year's hat. Okay, guys, so let me grab this. So, Express. I went to Express, guys. They didn't really have a great sale, but they did have a few items on sale. And I got this little, um, these are like little jackets. No, little sweater jackets, I should say. It's, this is pretty heavy. You know, Express is pretty good material. So, and it has like three buttons where it's splitting. You can wear this with a, um, a dress. You can wear it with pants. You can wear it with like a tee underneath or whatever. You can just wear it by itself. You don't have to wear anything underneath it but your skin. So I thought that was super cute. How much did I pay for this? It was originally, um, well, they marked it down to $49, but it was take an uh, extra 50% off. I think it was like $24 that I paid for this actual piece right here. And right now I'm just kind of buying basic pieces, guys, like pieces here and there that I can mat mix and match with stuff because trying to just, you know, you got to be able to learn how to style your clothes. And I'm in that process. Once again, I'm in my 50s. I went through a transition with my body and things like that. So I'm really trying to learn myself and my style again so once again keep you know working with you know fabrics and, and colors that fit you don't try to look at anybody else so that was express and i got something else at, oh i got this at express it is a super freaking cute thong bodysuit and it has the little ruffle. Um, I tried it on already. Fits super cute. It has the little ruffle uh, sleeve detail, which I love. The color is really, really pretty. It's almost like a peach mauve color. I'm loving it. And it's a thong, guys. Always wear a thong bodysuit. Don't wear the ones that your mama used to buy you when you was a little girl. So, Express. This is super cute. I was going to tell you guys the price of it. It was $34 with 50% off of that. I thought that was a super good deal. So I had to grab it. 
So yeah, super cute guys. Just buy certain little pieces and just start dressing them up. You know what I mean? Okay, I got this moving up. Okay, so that was express. So now we're gonna move along to. Okay guys, so this little top, I saw it. This color on me really does not work for me. And maybe only because it's winter right now and my skin is really lightened up. In the winter, guys, my skin lightens. I get like white my legs. I have to like literally tan all year, honestly, because I am a serious white girl under here. <laughs> for real. And it's so funny because my grandfather and my dad was like that, that their arms would get super white. Their legs would get super white in the winter. I do the same, so... Hered hereditation, <laughs> hereditation, hereditary guys, you know? So anyway, back to the haul. So yeah, I bought this little top. Um, it's cute, it feels really good. I love the material, that's what I was really loving. I don't know why they're making all these clothes for, and I guess it's for the younger crowd because the younger girls, because they wear all this and they can, you know, they become crop tops. I don't pretty much want to show my belly like that. Not that, you know, my belly looks pretty good right about now. But, uh, yeah. Come on, designers. Let's do something different. 2022, okay? But, yeah, this is a cute little girl on the top, you know. So, anyway, that's from Forever 21. Then I got this shirt, this sweater shirt from Forever 21, which... I'm still on the fence for this because I'm not sure. I love the color. The color is absolutely gorgeous. That chocolate brown. And then check out this back. So it ties up. But guys, if you have a big head, this is so tight. I have a little head. I mean, my forehead is pretty nice size, but my head is small, okay? And I, I had to recomb my hair because I couldn't I couldn't get my hip in here. So be mindful if you want to try this on. Like I said, I'm still debating if I'm going to keep this or not. Yeah. So anyway, that was Forever 21 and it was $27, which is, is pricey for forever. Well, I mean not pricey, but you know. If you're not loving it, then it's I look at things if you're not totally in love with something, then it's pricey. <laughs> I don't care if it's $5. I don't like it. It's too pricey. Anyway, so I got those. So, okay, so that was it for uh, Forever 21. Let's move on to the other store. Okay, guys, then I went to Macy's. I was gonna wear these pants today. Um, these are just some cargos. I love a good cargo pants. I, um, they have the elastic pockets in the back. I'm gonna style these. Uh, probably do a haul on all of this stuff tomorrow for you guys. Um, these have the, um, the the scrunchy bottoms, little tie here. These fit super cute. These were at Macy's on sale. Um, they were regularly like forty dollars. I would have never paid forty dollars for these. Um, they, I think I paid like $18 for them. They were on sale. So, like I said, I love a good cargo because you can throw these on with just about anything. But, yeah. I thought those were super cute. So, I just got to figure out a cute little top. I thought I was going to pair it with this top. I didn't like those two colors together. They look too juvenile. So, probably won't do that. Okay. So, guys, I think that is it. Oh, no, it's not it. We got it. Okay, guys. Now, you know I can't go in the mall without going to Zara. I mean, who cannot stop at Zara's, okay? So, I'm sorry. I had a phone call. My daughter was calling me. She knows I'm trying to do this video. So, anyway, guys, let's move on to the next store. Of course, I cannot go to the mall without going to Zara. So, I got some nice little Zara was not playing on the sales, okay? Even though the stuff was still super overpriced, they was not playing on the sale. So anyway, guys, I'm going to show you everything I got from Zara. Of course, uh, this sweater was not on sale, but I totally had to have it. And I'm hoping 
I like it once I try it on. I haven't tried these, well, I haven't tried the Zara stuff on. I tried a few of the, the Macy's stuff and the other things, but I have not tried this on yet. But when I was in the line, you know how you stay in that, stand in that long ass Zara line. And I saw it in the line. I told the girl, I was like, oh, my spot, I need to grab that. So I think what I'm gonna do is wear this with some, maybe some high-waisted leggings or whatever. You can do this with anything. So. That's Zara, guys. I thought that was super cute. The price was uh, $45. Yeah, this was not on sale, okay? So yeah, um, but yeah, we'll see. When I try it on, I might not even like it, but I don't know. The um, dressing rooms at Zara was closed, so I wasn't able to try things on. But I was trying things on in the line, because I'm like, I'm not, I had a whole bunch of stuff in my head. So anyway, guys, I've been eyeballing this shirt. And I actually bought this shirt, guys. I bought the shirt and took it back. Did not like it. I don't know why I did not like this shirt. But this shirt is beautiful. Look at that. Look at the ruching in the arms. Beautiful, stretchy, beautiful green, emerald green color. It went on sale, was regularly $50, went on sale for $25, and I was like, okay, I think I might like it for that price. So once again, I grabbed it. I did try it on over uh, a top that I had on because I was standing in line because I wasn't, you know, like I said, I bought this before. And I'm just like, I didn't want to bring it home and just had to take it back. So anyway, Zara's having a 50% off sale, guys. So go check them out. I will put everything down below that I purchased. Once again, I'm an extra small. And some things, it just depends. Zara stuff, some of their uh, clothing, if it's the stretch pants, like these are uh, from Zara's that I bought a long time ago. And um, they're stretchy, so they're extra small. Now, if they're extra small, cool. And they got some stretch, cool. But if they don't have no stretch, mm -mm, ain't gonna work. So anyway, guys, um, I bought this little bodysuit. I always like me a good bodysuit. Y'all should know me by now. And if you don't, I think my boobs can fit in that. But look how see-through. I didn't even really realize. That's super see-through. So I'm going to have to probably wear like a jacket or something over it when I style it. Because I'm going to dress this actually up when I do wear it. I'm going to dress it up. So maybe even with that little silver necklace or something. So anyway, guys, I got this. This was regularly, they cover the prices, like $39. I want to pay $39 for this. This is super thin. I got it on sale for $19. So that wasn't too bad. Once again, I'm just buying and adding pieces to my wardrobe. I'm purging, I'm adding, and things like that. So, yeah, and so this outfit that I have on, guys, I'm going to insert a picture so you can see how I styled it because I am going to hang out today. And, yeah, but before I go, I do have to have brunch with you guys. So stay tuned for that, okay? And I will see you in two seconds. Okay, guys, welcome back. As I promised, we are having brunch for one, maybe two, okay? So anyway, guys, I am going to make a eggnog brunch. So stay tuned for it because it's going to be yummy, period. Okay, guys, so... I am about to get started. I have purchased a waffle maker, a little mini one. Very cute, it's by Nostalgia. It was $8.96 at Walmart. Okay, if you just want one waffle and you don't want a big one, that's an alternative. 
We're going to do eggnog. That's what we're gonna have, eggnog waffles, okay? And then we're going to toast it with a little Rufino, okay? Prosecco, champagne, period. Okay, so let's get started with the recipe. I'm excited. So, okay guys, so this is what I'm gonna use. I was gonna do a homemade waffle from scratch. I didn't feel like doing all that. So I had this already on deck and I'm going to, um, actually this was somebody, this must've been my daughter's or somebody, I don't remember purchasing this, but um, yeah, we're gonna use it today. It is Crustay's Belgian waffles. Let's pray that it tastes good. So here we go, let's get it started. Okay guys, so we're gonna add one egg. Okay, we're gonna add one egg. Instead of adding water, we're gonna add a little eggnog at a time, not a lot. And then we're gonna add three tablespoons of oil. I choose to always use canola, canola, canola canola oil and um, allegedly they say it's more healthier than vegetable oil so that's what I choose to use and this is the third third one okay we're going to give that a little mix Okay, it looks a little, a little thick, so we're gonna add a little more milk. Well, eggnog, I should say. Probably doesn't need a lot, because eggnog is already thick. Give this a stir, because you need to. Yeah, it's gonna need a little bit. A little bit more eggnog. Actually, a lot more. Then I'm gonna dab it with a little bit of nutmeg and a little bit of cinnamon. I'm gonna put my own little twist to a box waffle mix. I think it should go a little more. I don't want these waffles to be thick. Okay guys, so I'm going to put my own little twist and put vanilla in here. Let's see. Okay, a little vanilla ain't gonna hurt nobody, right? A little cinnamon. I'm gonna put a little nutmeg. Okay, okay there we go. I feel like I don't know how to open up. That man, I work with it all day. Okay, we're gonna give that another quick stir. Now I might add, just to take out some thickness, I might add a little, a little water to this. Let's see. Oh my God, guys, that tastes so good. So I think I'm gonna add just a tad bit of water. And if you know me, I never use faucet water for anything, only to bathe with, and that's by, not by choice, <laughs> I should say. Okay, I think this is gonna give it a little bit more texture. 
Okay, so keep stirring. Get this really stirred up very, very good, guys. Make sure it's, you know, because this is you got an egg in here. So you want to make sure it is mixed. Okay, now that we have our waffle mix all prepared and mixed, we are going to start making our waffles, okay? I'm gonna add a little, I'm gonna turn around, turn the camera so you guys can see. There we go. This little thing is hot. Oh, you hear that? Listen to that, guys. That's hot. I'm gonna put a little butter in there just to gonna use a spoon because this is a very Small waffle maker. Okay, I think that's too much, guys. Let's pray that it's not. Okay, I think it's supposed to go like that. And then we close it. And bam. And then we wait. We wait, we wait, we wait. Anyway, guys, I hope everybody's new year is turning out to be, you know, a great day. You know, I know it's just the beginning, but it's just the beginning for great things to, to happen. Just think of it as a fresh start. Know that it, it ain't over to the fat lady sing, okay? It's not, it's not over. So anyway, guys, I'm just, you know, ooh, you should see this waffle, honey. It's been fluffed up like the clumps up in here. Ooh, Cheryl is always doing something. Mama Sita, Sita, as my granddaughter calls me, Sita. Anyway, let's check out the, ooh, 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 yep, yep, yep. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a mess, guys. Look at this, look at this, look at this. What the hell? <laughs> okay, guys. So, um, it didn't turn out too bad. It looked like it was overflowing. But we're going to make another one. Let's see. Put the guys down here. Let's do it again. I think I'm not going to put as much. supposed to and then you cover it now you can talk okay guys I am back and uh, you saw what was happening with the um, the waffles but they turned out pretty good okay so I'm going to plate them and make them look very beautiful I have a guest Say hey, Craig. That's Craig Hello. T. Cooper. He's <laughs> Happy a, New Year. He's a jazz artist. If you ain't aware, go check him out at what? Craig T. Cooper? Craig T. Cooper dot com. Fire music plays with loose ends. If any of you elderly people know. Oh, oh, it's like that. <laughs> it, it, you know, <laughs> for real. I mean, loose ends is back in our era so anyway guys i'm going to plate these um uh these waffles we're gonna have some champagne and we're just gonna enjoy it. oh and i did put some bacon in the uh oven and we're just going to 
have a Thanksgiving uh, brunch. Craig has been my friend, guys. I'm, I've been knowing him since how long, Craig? High school? 30, High school, okay? He knows my kids. He knows me, my mom, my brothers. Daddy. Daddy, yeah, he's. He's been a, he's been a, my dude. He's, he's like a, a male, you know how you have a male best friend? A male, <laughs> yeah, male best friend. Why you tuck your, then he just go and tuck his shirt in. See, I, I have to help him with his attire. I wasn't supposed to do that? No. Okay, I'll be back, guys. Let me play these, because he's about to change his whole little look up with the doing what not to do. Um. Okay, in a minute. Okay, guys, now for the finale. The finale, and I am so scared of this guy. So I might have Craig do the honors of popping this, cause uh, I don't know how I'm doing that. uh oh shit, <laughs> pop it. Hey, popping bottles for New Year, baby! It's gonna be a New Year. You guys are gonna be getting content from me, and I am Good job. so. He just had to get in the camera. You know what I'm saying? I didn't tell him to get in the camera. Did I? Did, did I? Did I? Viewers. Good job. Anyway, so this is what we're drinking. And uh, yeah. Okay, guys. So, welcome back. And this is the end of the vlog, finally. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Brunch for two instead of one. I told you it was going to either be one or two. So, two came. So, here we about to, we about to eat and be merry and, and be all that. So, anyway, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I don't know what's going on with my uh, social media, with my Instagram. It's not allowing me to actually upload pictures from my phone. It keeps saying that um, that my password has been compromised and every time I try to change it, it's not allowing me to. So bear with me, I am going to get that situated hopefully within this week coming up because I wanna be able to show you some of the, you know, the outfits that I've been, you know, putting together and things like that. So. I hope everybody have an amazing first day of 2022. I'm about to keep rocking, keep rolling. I'm about to bring some great content, fashion, motor, a law of attraction, motor. We're going to do it all in 2022, everything, period. So I will see you guys on the next video. Look forward to my uh, fashion haul in a couple of days. And yeah, see you in the next video. Hey, hey, hey. You gotta go on. Yeah. Guys, don't forget to try these uh, waffle, eggnog waffles. Comment down below. I forgot to tell you guys um, before I signed off, but try these waffles. I did make some bacon off camera, turkey bacon. Try these waffles, guys. They are delicious. I am going to link everything that I added into my...